What's up guys, Nathan here, and today I wanna to give you a simple bluffing technique that you can start using right away in your poker games to start rapidly increasing your profits. Let's jump right into it. All right guys, so today I'm gonna to walk you step-by-step step through an example hand showing you this relatively simple bluffing technique that literally anyone can use right now to start winning a lot more at the poker tables. The other thing that I need to warn you about right off the start though is, is that this is a bit of an advanced play. I don't really recommend using this play against a lot of these so-called beginner level players at lower stakes, because honestly, this is just gonna go right over their head and they're gonna call you down. So people are always asking me to make some more advanced videos here in the channel. So this is a more advanced strategy so for some of you more experienced players out there so let's jump right into this let's jump into the example hand here you've got ace queen offsuit ace of hearts and queen of spades this is a typical hand that a lot of people ask me about a lot of people have problems playing this hand so today we're going to talk about how to earn a pot with this hand when you don't hit anything we're going to be bluffing in this hand of course so you raise up ace queen offsuit as mentioned in middle position and one of those tight sort of regular players calls you on the button now i'm not going to go deep into the various positions at the poker table, what hands you should be playing and so on. I already have charts and diagrams and everything in my free poker cheat sheet, which will be the top link in the description below. If you don't know what middle position button means and what hands you should be playing and so on. But anyways, let's go see the flop. Flop comes down with a four of diamonds, five of spades, 10 of hearts. So not exactly the dream flop when you're holding a queen. So what should you be doing in this situation? Well, guys, this is a typical spot. You just want to be making your stand standard C bet and a C bet in poker stands for continuation bet meaning you are continuing the aggression remember that we raised pre-flop so we are continuing the aggression that we started before the flop and we're just going to make another bet here with the simple intention to make them fold their hands so the other thing you guys need to know here is you don't want to be betting a lot on the flop here typically around 50 percent of the pot is enough to get the job done especially on a board like four five ten because this board is very dry guys it's very uncoordinated. There's not too many straight draws on this board. There are no flush draws. And let's remember what the range of a tight player is when they call us on the button. Well, it's not gonna be a lot of big premium pocket pairs like pocket aces, kings, queens, because we would assume that they're going to re-raise us pre-flop most of the time with those hands. So we can discount those. Also, it should be noted, we block a lot of those hands heavily because we have an ace and a queen in our hand. No, the range of a tighter player in a situation like this where they just flat call us pre-flop it's going to be a lot of Broadway hands, like for example, like a King Queen, a King Jack, all of which we are actually still ahead of and have missed horribly on this flop. And if we just make a small bet, 50% of the pot, you know, pot's $10, we bet $5. This player, a tight sort of risk averse kind of player like this, regular player, they're just going to look at their King Jack and they're just going to throw their hand away, which is totally fine. The other thing is we might be able to get a hand like pocket sixes to fold, possibly in this situation. Pocket sevens, one of those kind of hands. But but more importantly, we do expect this player to also have some suited connectors in their range, like a 9-8 or an 8-7 suited. And with a simple bet here, we'll be able to get those hands out of the pot as well. All right, guys, so with all of that said, we're gonna assume that you get cold in this situation because it's not really that interesting if we just make them fold here. We're talking about making the big bluff in this video, so let's go see the turn. So guys, the turn is all about making them a believer, firing the double barrel, and we're gonna discuss why we're going to do that right now. So the turn comes down with the king of clubs. So the board now reads by the turn four of diamonds, five of spades, 10 of hearts, king of clubs. So guys, the most important thing to understand here is that this card hits our range. It does not hit the range of a tight player who calls preflop. Remember, we're the ones who raised in middle position in this hand. So we are representing a lot of big premium hands like ace, king, king, queen, king, jack and so on big broadway cards like that that love this king we're also going to have hands that have a 10 in them like ace 10 suited for example or a jack 10 suited so even if this player was hanging on with a hand like pocket sixes pocket sevens or pocket eights we can often use a card like this what i call a scare card in order to lean on them and make them fold in this situation this is something that i talk about in detail in all of my poker books and i have entire 
entire videos discussing this in my brand new Elite Poker Training University. I'll have links for everything in the description below if, if you wanna go deeper into this strategy. But guys, in a nutshell, this is a perfect situation to take a hand like Ace Queen and simply bet again. Now guys, there's two more really important keys to this spot here and why I'm going to choose to bluff. Yes, bluff again in this situation. And that is that number one, I hope you guys noticed that we did pick up some equity as well with this turn card. If the river were to come down with the jack, we would make the unbeatable nut straight. So it's always nice to be bluffing with some equity in your back pocket. As I've also discussed in many of these videos and in all my books and training courses is that you do not want to be bluffing with nothing, guys. It makes zero sense. You always want to have some way to get lucky on the river, even if they have, you know, king queen in this situation and they call us down. We still got four jacks in the deck, guys, that we can get lucky against them on the river. The other even more important part here, guys, is that you need to make a serious bet here. The biggest mistake that most people make here is that when they're bluffing on the turn of the river, they just bet 50% of the pot again, or even less in some cases. And there's a lot of poker teachers that are still teaching this flawed strategy because the problem with this approach, guys, is that anybody who has one of these mid-pocket pairs or maybe they hit a five or even a 10 on the flop, you're giving them a great price to just call you down in a situation like this. And especially if you have an aggressive image at the poker table, which is what I teach and everything that I put out, you're gonna get called a little bit more often. People do tend to look me up more often because I am a highly aggressive poker player. So guys, you wanna bet 75%, 80% of the pot here. So for example, pot's $100, bet $75, bet $80. Basically guys, give them a real reason to fold. Let people know you're serious. Let people know you're not screwing around. And guys, the other thing to note here is I'm betting this exact same amount with all of my good hands. When I have pocket aces here, when I have king queen here, when I have pocket tens here, I'm also betting big. And this is really important against good players because what you're telling them is when you look me up, you're gonna get stung sometimes. Sometimes I'm gonna have the big hand here. I'm gonna have the ace king here and it's gonna hurt. So guys, try out this simple double barrel strategy. Honestly, this has been pure money for me, especially in low and mid stakes games where there's a lot of these sort of uh, tighter players who are really risk averse, who if you can just keep your foot on the gas pedal on the turn and often on the river as well. I've made other videos about that on the channel, which you can check out by the way. You can often get these players to fold and lay it down. You can just earn pots and get better hands to fold. And guys, in a nutshell, that's how to win at poker. All right, guys, like and subscribe if you found this video helpful. Let me know about your best bluffing strategies in the comments below. And also, once again, if you want to know my entire strategy to beat the small and mid stakes games, make sure you grab a copy of my free poker cheat sheet. That'll be the top link in the description below. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. I will catch you next time.